if you're not giving, that means you're not living. I don't give because I have. I have because I give. Mosley Charity often works at the boundaries between hospital or, or research or between community organisations and hospital. And it's often those boundaries where funding can really make a difference because across our health services, people tend to work in silos and we can often fund things that provide a bit of a bridge between uh, services or types of care. The Mosley Charity ultimately is all about improving care uh, for people who need mental health services, helping us to provide better care. It really forms the glue, in a sense, between the university, the research uh, engine, which is the Institute of Psychiatry, Psychology and Neuroscience, and the NHS, the SLAM Trust. I see them as my allies in my work. I see them as the people that I go to with if we have ideas about uh, changes that we want to implement that are slightly risky. Stuff wouldn't get done without that ability to pump prime um, innovation. What they do is ensure that learning from one particular project is spread to another. Often some of the projects we're funding will start on a small scale here. It might be a project within a particular service or an award. If it goes well, it could be scaled up to something which might reach across a whole hospital. But for us, it's also important that the lessons that learned from that work are captured and actually can inform what's going on across the whole NHS. It's the added value that the charity can really bring to the trust around supporting these projects. The beauty of the charity is that it allows you to do that. It allows you the time and the, the breathing space to think through how we're going to do this differently, how we're going to progress this work. We're, we're constantly thinking local and national, but we're also thinking immediate impact and long-term investments. So some of our biggest grants do go into those, uh, the developments and the research of those very long-term initiatives. But we also recognise that we have a responsibility to try and support people immediately. So the Recovery College is this idea of clinicians who have an expertise and service users or people with a lived experience who have an expertise. They come together and they run courses and workshops and training opportunities for staff, service users and carers and their family members to learn together about mental health. Our Mind and Body programme, um, which I lead locally, is attempting to bind together um, the two big arms of healthcare so that we offer much better integrated care. And this is really important because it impacts real people in their everyday life. And the Morsey Charity has been crucially important in pump priming a very large program of work over the next three years to improve the physical healthcare of those with severe and enduring mental health problems. The fact of having a gallery, it was crucial. One patient once illustrated to me, he said, for the first time in his life, he felt human, truly human. Why? Because when his art was seen outside hospital context, you know, he was seen as a person, you know. People talked to him as person rather than a patient. The Maudsley Charities facilities they've funded have helped enormously with mine certainly, but a lot of other people's lives. Well, the, the Morsi Charity has um, been incredibly helpful in terms of uh, developing the, the Biomedical Research Centre. Um, and what the charity particularly did was actually provide some support for, for, for capital costs. So the, the, the real flagship programme which came about was the establishment of uh, the BRC Nucleus, as we call it, and this was a data centre. Uh, it was a centre for us to be able to uh, make use of the really amazing data assets we've got. We have a very large and generous uh, funding of, of, of 1.8 million from the, the charity to, to do that, and that really was a game changer for us. Really what we needed was to create uh, really entry level opportunities in music for people. So we applied for funding from the Morsley to run a skills and support day. There was a course I attended last year. This course was funded by the Morsley charity, so that's the connection I've got with them. 
So we've got a very difficult or a challenging patient on the ward who we have been able to downgrade from two to one, one to one intermittent to now being an informal patient. Um, and I can honestly say that the knowledge gained from this course really did help with supporting the team and the patients. The Dragon Cafe is a creative cafe space uh, with a focus on mental health. Um, so we want it to be an engaging um, menu of creative activities, but also a safe, uh, relaxing space as well as an invigorating space. So actually managing kind of the energy and the opportunities that uh, are, are here for you is a big part of our role. So in the garden, we particularly work at growing vegetables and fruits and which we link to a healthy eating program. And it's an opportunity for people to get involved both in the growing and harvesting of plants and then preparing them for, for eating and cooking. Definitely, um, the last couple of years, people are very more open to mental health. There's been a lot more campaign work around mental health and speaking out, which is um, phenomenal, but there's still a lot of more work to do. Well, we're in the Autism Centre, which is the home of the charity. It's a place primarily for learning and education and training in mental health. Any day of the week you can see loads of different groups of people. It's a really positive environment and I think we feel like the, the, the building itself is playing a role in destigmatising mental illness. The ambition here goes way, way, way beyond what we can fund from our own resources. We already have people that generously donate to some of our work and I think if anybody was trying to work out where they wanted to put £10 or £10,000, we would be a very good place to start and that's because we are working with people who understand what they're doing and working with people who experience mental illness and are doing so in lots of different ways. 